Hi, today I will show you how to stop your own FTP server. We will use Pro FTP server, which is one of the most popular servers in the world. Let's get started. I already prepared all comments before recording this video, so I will just copy them and comment this all what I am doing. First we will install our FTP server. Ok, our server is installed. Now we need to load kernel module to allow our server work, because uh, without this kernel you will face the issue when you can't log into your server. So we will load it by the next command. Ok, uh, however such a, a kernel a model load a, you need to do after each boot of the server. If you want to uh, automate this process, you need to create configuration file to systemd model load servers. I have prepared the command uh, which you can use to create such file. As you can see, I will show you this fa file. It has only name of the model and the service after restarting this it automatically load this model. We can check this ls mod grab FTP. As you can see we have our model loaded. Okay. Uh, one last thing, uh, we need to open up FTP ports in our firewall to allow remote connections. So, uh, I have prepared two rules, one of them open up TCP uh, traffic and second UDP. So, uh, I will execute them both. Allow UDP traffic. Now we will check our input chain, how our rules are shown. Okay, as you can see, we have our rules added, so we can continue with our configuration. The next step is to enable. Our, pro F, uh, our FTP server and start it. Okay, check how it works. Yeah, we can see that our FTP server are working and accepting connections. Good. One last thing, uh, we will uh, use configuration where system users can uh, log in on our FTP server. So we will create a system user which which actually can't log in in the system but can be used uh, to log in on FTP server. For this purpose, we will create FTP user by the next command. As you can see, we have uh, used command user add, uh, name of our uh, user, FTP user. Uh, uh, here we specified his home folder. And this we have specified that shell for this user would be used as bin no login, which actually uh, deny login in the shell by this user. Okay, user created. Check home. Yes, we have home folder for this user, and we need to create a set password for this user. Let's use passwd FTP user. I will use the same password as username. It's just for testing purposes. That's that's it. Now I will create on the uh, user FTP user 
some folders in home directory and let's create test one test one directory test two and couple of files read me for example check home folder we have two directories and one file they all empty it's just for testing so uh, our server is ready to handle removed connections so i will open up one more shell uh, connect to one of my virtual servers Check IP of my server. We have two hundreds. Okay. I will use shell two FTP to connect to remove server and specify the IP address of my FTP server. It's asking me for login. We will use FTP ftp user and password ftp user as you can see user ftp successfully logged in uh, and we uh, at our home directory we will, can we can check uh, what we have in our directory we have two directories and one file also we can check how uh, it's working we are some graphical tool we will specify our ip address our username and password and type login yes oh sorry i forgot to change protocol ftp FTP user, FTP user, again. As you can see on the right side, we have our home folder with two directories with the file. We can move some files on. to our FTP server. Then you can check on the server our files there. As you can see, I have copied FB readers to top, and it's actually already on my server. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye bye.